We talked about absolute expaths. Now let's talk about relative expaths. I won't be executing these relative expaths because um, I don't have an easy way of setting the current node. But let me give you this idea of the current node, which we'll work through in a number of different places um, in this course. Um, and, and, in this, and, and right now I'm going to give you the very simplest idea of what the current node is. The current node is just the node that I'm on. So for example, I have this line highlighted here that says questions. Let's just say I'm on the question node. So now the question now now what we have to talk about is if I'm on the questions node, how do I get to some other nodes from this questions node? So suppose I want to get to the question node under question. I'm on questions and I want to get to the question node. The X path is really simple. Just the word question. Um, and that's the way that relative X paths work. You take for granted that you are on that current node and you only name the stuff that's between the current node and the node you want to get to. Between questions and question, there's nothing. So all you have to do is type the word question and it says, I am the child of questions. So whenever you see an X path and it's a single word like that, um, don't get confused. It is an X path. That word question is an X path. It's just a really simple one. It's relative to its parent it's the first level child. Now let's suppose, go away box, let's suppose I want to get to the description element under questions. Now I add something to my X path and it's description. Okay, so now I start to put in these slashes because I'm going down some levels. Questions, question, description. So in order to get two levels down there, I have to type in, I have to start typing in slashes. And if I want to get to the P under there, isn't there a P under description? There is. No, not parent, just P. Thank you. Um, I now have, I'm now building this path. So except for the fact that you don't start with a forward slash, they look a lot like the absolute X paths. And in fact, all the things that apply to absolute X paths apply also to relative X paths. So let's do some other things to kind of give you some a feeling for some of the other things. Suppose I want to, in the question attribute, I mean, in the question element, I want to get to the ID attribute. I would tap I, at ID, and that gets me from questions, which we're assuming is the current node, into the question element, and then in the question element into the ID attribute. Or I could say question where ID equals yada, 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 slash description. Okay, so all the stuff you know about XPath, or will know if you don't know it yet, because maybe we haven't actually gotten to this where stuff, but the point is anything that applies to uh, any XML also applies to a relative XPath. Okay, let me show you one other thing. Um, I, I, you may not have quite gotten to the dot dot slash, but I will show you how when I'm on questions here, I can get to, uh, I can get to, well, maybe I won't do that right now because I don't think I've, I don't think I've covered that with you yet. The, uh, the idea of, of going up in the hierarchy. Suffice it to say that um, you can go and do anything. Would you stop coming up, box? You can use any any X path that you want, and the only difference between an absolute and a relative is that the relative doesn't start with the forward slash, and it assumes you're on a particular node already.